Hi, I'm Devour. Welcome to We Only Play Games. Um, recently I've been doing a lot of Minecraft videos, so I thought that I would do something a little bit different today. Um, we are playing a game called Yo Ho Ho Puzzle Pirates. It is basically a puzzling game um, with a pirate theme. I'm actually going to start off with a brand new character today. I don't have any stats, I haven't played on this before, I'm completely green. Because today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to build sea donkeys and Vegases in building. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I'm starting on a completely green character because it's a little bit easier to see these and explain them when you're a little bit more green. So basically, a sea donkey or a Vegas is when you have three of the same color by three of the same color by at least three one direction and in another direction. It has to be at least three, but it could be up to five. So I'm going to use this top row as an example. We have three whites already and two light blues. I see this blue spawn is really easy, so all I'm going to do is move a light blue over and we'll go ahead and move them up. Now we have three by three, so now all we have to do is make our three by three coming down this way. So we'll move our pieces over, making sure not to clear anything. And here you see we have three by three by three by three. So we have a sea donkey. We'll go ahead and clear it. Now, in order to make a Vegas rather than a sea donkey, like I said, you need at least five in each direction, in one of the directions. So I'm looking at this middle row here. I have three blues already and two yellows. Should be easy enough to make a Vegas out of that. So let's go ahead and set up. We need to clear this light blue. So, really did fine. Now we have three yellows by three blues. We'll go ahead and set up our three by three. Now we need at least five in one row. So, as I'm looking at it, I see that the blue, I actually don't need to move any pieces up. Now I have three by three, by five, by in, in being at least three. We have it as four. When we clear it, we have Vegas. Now, the more that you do this, the more that you start to see combos. Um, I know everybody chooses theirs a little bit differently. That was actually a big mess up on my part. I find that it's actually harder to bilge this way when you have a lower bilge standing. Uh, just because there are so many of the same color, you wind up accidentally breaking stuff. So here we need to bring up a green. And we'll go ahead and just do a seed on here. Now again, you want to look for your basic easy one. Here we already have 3x3 three three spawn, so we'll go ahead and just move stuff over. It's actually going to be really easy to get in Vegas, so it's really worth going ahead and getting. We have 3x3, three by 5x5, three, by by in again. Once you start doing this technique, it gets really easy to see them. Three by three, by five, by M. Now I'm actually going to log off of this account and log on to a main account so that way you can see building at a higher level because it does look a lot different when you have more pieces. And I will be right back after I do that. Alright, welcome back. Uh, we are now on another account. This pirate happens to be ultimate. So the board and the spawn is going to look a lot different. There will be a lot more pieces that you'll see. Um, and the combos aren't quite as easy to see. Right away I see two rows that look really good to me. The first row is this green and blue row, but I usually try to avoid building at the bottom unless I can avoid it um, because of the fact that it's really hard to guarantee that you'll get the pieces that you need down below here. 
And the other row that I have that looks really good to me right now is this row at the top here. It's dark blues and light blues should be really easy to build. If I hadn't have just messed that part up right there, well, we can move on. We'll just move a yellow up. All right, here we go. So we're going to need to move up a blue. I also see that I need a blue in the second row and a light blue in the third row. So I'm going to move all those pieces up at the same time. Now, as you can see, all I need to do is just arrange the pieces I moved up. And now I have a 3 by 3 by 3 by 4. So that's a really easy sea donkey. The other thing that I like to do is I like to go ahead and move up the pieces that I need to be for the next combo. So in addition to that, I'm going to go ahead and move a green up into the space that's going to be left by the blue. And I'll also go ahead and move up the pieces I need to clear that yellow. Well, that was an accident, but now that I'm looking at it, I actually really like the way that it spawned. Um, so what I'm going to do here, actually, is I'm going to try to do some stacked sea donkeys. So I'll go ahead and move up my green piece to make my white and green. And then I'm looking at this row below as well. We just got on. We're not worried about the duty report right now. We just want to worry about moving all the pieces up that we need to for the moment. Alright, so when we look at we already have the sea donkey, and we also have a couple of rows down here that look really good for making more sea donkeys. Generally, if I can do a one-click sea donkey, my bilge pump goes up really high. So we'll go ahead and use this row, make another one. So as you can see, we'll do a sea donkey, a 3 by 3 by 3 by 4 and we'll do a one-click sea donkey up here at the top, 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 Now, I always like to try to get rid of the creatures as soon as they jump on the board, so we'll go ahead and get rid of our blowfish, and we will go ahead and use our little guy here too, but we're going to go ahead and set it up so that's a smart way to use it. Alright, you can see we're sparkly as we hit the leak point. We're not going to be too high because we just got on and we had a really bad first duty report. But when we get back to our board, we built really smartly so we have a nice setup again right up here. So we'll go ahead and start moving pieces around. Now again, this is going to be a good way to start our setup. You can see that when my 3x3x3x3 three by three by three by three sea donkey clears here, it's going to float my hexagonal pieces up. It's going to clear my blue pieces right here, or my green pieces rather, and it's going to float another blue piece up. So, with just a few clicks, we have another sea donkey. Alright guys, I was just building through until I got a nice fresh board. Uh, now that we do have a fresh board, this one just came from a spawn, we just ran out of stars. We'll go ahead and start up again. Um, I think those are usually the hardest boards to start from just because you haven't been setting stuff up for yourself. But uh, let's see what we can do. So I like this row right off, that's the first one that I see. I'm going to go ahead and set it up and then also try to set the one below it. We'll see if we can force a stack here. So we have our 3x3x3x3. Three by three by three by three. And right underneath it, we're going to try to build another. So now again, we have a 3x3x3x3. Three by three by three by three. Now, as you can see right underneath here, we need to bring some light blue pieces. And underneath the yellow, we need to bring some green pieces. Green pieces. And let's see what we can do. So as I'm looking for my light blue, I see some right here. Okay, we're good on that side. And we need one more light green. We'll float up. So this is a really good, clean, stacked sea donkey. We have our 3x3x3x3 three by three by three by three donkey. As soon as that clears, it's going to bring up our last two pieces that we need for our sea donkey right here. And we'll go ahead and right away get rid of our jellyfish. 
and our blowfish because they just get in the way and they're a big old mess we don't like dealing with them. All right. Now, I actually don't see a row that I really like all that much. So I'm going to have to kind of force something. Right about here in the middle looks decent enough to work with. Um, let's do white and green just because there are a lot of... I'm sorry, white and hexagon because there are a lot of green pieces we can clear. So we got that. We'll go ahead and get this bingo. Keep our stat going. And we're going to use these darker green pieces to move stuff up. All right, that wasn't too painful. And we actually got a really pretty little Vegas out of it. Our Vegas again is three by three by five by in, in here being four. Again, we're just gonna keep on moving with whatever pieces they give us. Even if we make little mistakes like that, it's easy enough to just go ahead and keep on moving. Just try to improvise whatever happens. The worst thing I think you can do whenever you make a mistake like that is to try and force what your original idea was. It almost always turns out badly. You end up using way too many moves. Um, so really just kind of try to go with the flow and improvise. It's the best way to build. All right, the reason I did that is because now I can move up my light blue. It's going to move up my yellow automatically, which is the exact piece we were missing for this top row. And we've got another pretty little Vegas here. We've got our 3 by 3 by 5 by 4 All right, guys, I think that's about all the bilging that I'm going to show you for right now. Um, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to try to answer them or work with you on any building if you uh, do need any help. Again, this has been Devour, um, the channel We Only Play Games. Thanks for watching.